SMT Nation, we back Nation, shocking news at a dish. They are going to be building small cells. And I'm going to tell you guys why I'm pleasantly surprised. And I'm going to tell you guys why I'm really excited about this, because this is some cutting edge stuff. Remember, DISH operates a Greenfield 5G network that is completely VRAN, ORAN. It's unique and it's different. Them building small cells is really, really cool. All right, anyways, I'll be sure to link the article for you in the description. Randall Jr., uh, lightreading.com. That link will be there. Also, ways to support the SMT YouTube channel you can find in the description as well. Okay, so an executive at a, I, I guess we'll call it a, a tower company of some sort. I guess slipped some information at a some kind of like recent conference or, or something. Uh, I think it was the CEO of Digital Bridge. Digital Bridge is the company that runs Extanet, which it, I think is a they, they they build cell sites, you know, um, small cells specifically. I think is their specialty. Maybe um, Mark Ganzi, I guess, slipped and and declared that there was some kind of a master lease agreement between their company and Dish, and since that happened now the floodgates open now we want to know where are they going to build these small cells what are they going to look like you know what type of capacity are going to bring to the table it's interesting to see this because dish really doesn't have the capital to build you know secondary network assets really they got to focus on you know macro cells big towers rooftop sites but you got to think about it they have boost mobile right they have over 7 million customers and prepaid they're trying to grow wireless in the postpaid space and they have usage right so they can strategically build and place these things where they can offload a lot of traffic specifically in areas where they don't have native coverage due to some kind of restriction or something and you know this could help them get away from the usage on the AT&T or T-Mobile network right uh, with respect to Dish's tower site count I think they're looking to be over 20,000 cell sites by the end of the year, right? So they're, they've still got some building to do. But I'm telling you, this is really interesting. You know, and this is fresh off the heels of us kind of seeing Dish stalling with the network build because they had to pause and really focus on retail, and that hasn't been good. But they still have network, you know, reach they have to accomplish. They, they still got to get to, you know, 70% of the pops covered in the U.S., you know, across a majority of the major metros and, you know, suburban areas as well, right? And they've got they've got to hit these marks or else they're going to be paying fines. Now, the reason I said this is really interesting and cool is because DISH is an ORAN, VRAN, completely virtualized 5G network. So this would be like first in the industry, a small cell tower grid, right? Network assets that are completely standalone 5G. So it's going to be really interesting to see how these are constructed, how they're operated and configured, what type of dynamic features these cell sites have, and how they could be different potentially from like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Now, the one thing I will say is I think with respect to Verizon, when you go to you know metros and see what they've done with small cells, those a lot of those small cells that Verizon has built recently are going to be probably cutting edge, right? It's it's going to be stuff like what Dish is doing uh, because, you know, Samsung is the vendor. Samsung is seems to be leading the way in this space, you know, and, and with respect to ORAN and VRAN and those types of things. But I'm really excited about this. Could this be something that helps distinguish the Dish 5G network? Can they monetize this through enterprise and private networks? You know, does does this offer a distinguished experience for customers? You know, through these small cells, I don't know. There's always the potential for this. I know, um, you know, there's a lot of new DAS opportunities for Dish. You know, there's a lot of new small cell opportunities and ways for them to do this. And you know, the, this is a good partnership. I I just wish we had more details. And you know, who knows? Maybe we'll see some of this in the CLE, and I can kind of test it and and show you guys what these look like. I'll be watching. You know, I don't I don't know where they'd put them, and I don't have contacts at Dish. But uh, I'm monitoring this. This is really interesting. What I find most ironic about this is we know more about the DISH small cell network plans than we do T-Mobile. That's, that's sad. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.